Thank you guys for tuning in and getting ready with me. If you watched my previous video, you'll know that I am wearing a partial quick weave, the hair provided by divatress.com. So what I did was wash my hair. So it's damp right now and I am re-wrapping it using Nairobi's uh, setting foam. I will leave all the products that I use in this video in the description box below because I probably don't remember the exact correct names of everything. So if I do mess up, I will leave the description in the um, description box below. Okay, so like I said, I'm just re-wrapping my hair. I washed it with shampoo. I didn't use any conditioner. I tried not to wash the parts with the glue, like I didn't wash the roots of my hair, if that makes sense. Um, because it is a quick weave and it has GPS, which is the Grow Protect solution on it, the water would easily, easily, um, basically remove my weave. So I didn't wash the roots. So I'm just rewrapping my hair using some setting lotion. Like usual, I'm using my wrap strips to wrap my hair. I used about three, yeah, I used about three wrap strips in total in order to wrap my hair. And don't mind my son, he's running around. He usually runs around the kitchen and the living room when he's really tired, so it's nap time for him. So I don't have a hooded dryer. What I like to do is just um, get some things done in the house while my hair dries and it usually takes about one to two hours to dry or If I go outside it just dries from the Sun <laughs> Okay, so my hair is finally dry I Am going to start off by doing my makeup Today I'm going to my niece's birthday barbecue. So this is just going to be a little summer look. I'm going to start off by using MAPS Prep and Prime uh, Natural Radiance Primer. I did moisturize my skin using Neutrogena's oil-free uh, face moisturizer. It has an SPF of 15, perfect for the summer. The foundation that I am using today is from CoverGirl. It's their Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation in the shade Soft Sable. Yes, Soft Sable. So this also has an SPF in it, so it's good for protecting your skin from the sun. So I like to put it on my face first with my fingers and then just buff it out using a foundation brush. To conceal, I'll be going in with M Milani's Cream to Powder um, Foundation. I believe it's a foundation, um, but I like to use it as a concealer. It's in the color Spiced Almond. So I just highlight under my eyes, my forehead, nose, and chin. And then I'm gonna go in now and set my concealer using Maybelline's Fit Me Set and Smooth in the shade Coconut. I didn't use such a bright highlight today. Sometimes I like to keep it, I don't know, natural. So I decided to do that today. If I wanted to go a little bit brighter, I would use my, um, my matte concealer in NC sorry NW45 okay to contour I'm using a beauty supply store contour kit from Nika K New York in the shade ND09 I like to contour my cheek or my jawline I like to contour like on my forehead and a little bit on my nose 
this contour kit cost me about two dollars and it does a pretty good job for me so yeah that's what i'm using to contour For my eyes, I'm using the Morphe 3502 palette. I am going to do my crease using, I believe it's the shade Brick. Okay, so I'm just going over my crease and majority of my eyelid. And I'm using a blending, a soft blending brush. Okay, and for the lower part of my crease, I'm going to be using the shade Rich. The shade is called Rich. It's a little bit darker just to add some depth. And for my eyelids, I'm using a shade from their Dare to Be, sorry, Dare to Create palette. And the shade, I believe is trendy. If it's not trendy, I'll leave the details in the description box below, of course. So I'm using my fingers just to place that on. As you guys can see, my makeup skills are very basic. <laughs> um, and then again, I'm just blending in the um, the lid color with the crease color, uh, just using the blending brush that I initially that I was initially using. Then I went back in with the color rich just to kind of darken the outer lid, if that makes sense. Now I'm using my eyeliner from NYC. So it's NYC liquid eyeliner. <laughs> this eyeliner was about $3 and I got it at the drugstore. Then I'm going in with some lashes. These lashes are from Red by Kiss in the number 120. I believe they're called Wispies. Just to clean up my eyebrows, I'm going in with the LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Chestnut. And then I'm blending it out using the blending brush. For my blush, I'm using um, color number 55 from the Maybelline Fit Me line. I believe it's just a number, 55. If there's an actual name, I will leave it in the description box below. For my highlight, I'm using MAC Gold Deposit. So I like to highlight my cheekbones, um, my nose, my cupid's bow, a little bit of my forehead. And I think that's it for my highlight. Yeah. For my eyeliner, I just, I found the black eyeliner in my makeup kit. I believe it's from Rimmel. And also just to smoke out my eye, I'm going in with the same brick eyeshadow color that I used as my first transition color for my eyeshadow look. And the mascara that I'm using today is Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. And to set my face, I'm using Max Deep Dark Mineralized Skin Finish. And here I'm using the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And on my lips, I'm using the NYX uh, liquid suede in the color sandstorm
now on to my hair so I am using some jojoba oil from the ORS line um, and what I did with that is just coated the sides of my hair with it now I'm running my curling wand on my leave out just to kind of smooth it out this is my um, I'll put the details in the description of course um, but it's my curling wand it's from the brand red by kiss I'm gonna give myself some soft, easy curls using my Remington flat iron. This is my one inch flat iron that I use most. Guys, I must say the Diva Trust hair that I'm using is pretty good. Um, especially after washing it it's easy to curl it holds the curl very well I can't see myself reusing it but I still think for the price it's a uh, pretty good hair So I did go ahead and line my lips and add some sheen. And this is the finished look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick get ready with me. This is my go-to summer makeup look. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment if you just want to say hey or if you have any suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye.